First, we have to download two files, and to do this, we have to go to the buildbots.libretro.com, then go to stable and scroll to the latest version of RetroArch, and in this case, it's 1.16. Then click on it, go to Linux, and go to 8664. Then download RetroArch.7zip and download RetroArchCourse.7zip. Then go to your downloads folder or where you downloaded the two files. Open retroarch scores.7zip with your archive manager. Go to retroarch linux86 and keep going until we reach the course folder. And here we go. Now I go inside the course folder and search for the citra libretro.seo then extract to whatever you want or to whatever whatever folder you want. Then go to the retroarch.zip. Keep going until we reach the core folder or the course folder. Go inside of it and search for ctralibrato.info and here we go and extract it then cut or copy both of these files go to your steam library and from here click on top of retroarch with your right mouse button then go to manage and browse local files this is the RetroArch theme folder and then go to the course folder and place both of those files inside of this folder. And the Citra is now installed on your Steam. Then open up RetroArch. Then go to load contents and load a Nintendo 3DS game. And as you can see, everything is working correctly. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and happy gaming. Hmm? Oh,